The recyclable materials are then brought to the Elkridge Processing Facility. All materials delivered to the facility are carefully weighed and recorded according to where it was collected. The collection trucks then enter the recycling plant where the recyclables are emptied onto the tipping floor. Once the recyclables are unloaded, they are ready for processing. The materials are first loaded onto the main feed conveyor. They will be directed to several sorting areas. The first pre-sort area is where non-recyclable materials are removed. This includes large objects and plastic bag. They are removed and put into the trash. Plastic bags containing recyclable materials are opened at the pre-sort area and emptied onto the conveyor. The bags are then put into the trash. The recyclable materials continue through the facility to the first series of disc screens. These disc screens are specially designed pieces of equipment that consists of rows of rotating discs that push certain materials over the top of these discs while other materials fall in between or through the discs and are redirected to another conveyor. The larger pieces of cardboard are being removed by this screen and sent directly to a storage area for future bailing. The reaming recyclables that have fallen between the disc screens are then sent to the next sort area called the combination screen. This area separates paper materials from the rigid household containers. The first section of this screen removes most of the newspaper. Newspaper includes all items normally found in your newspaper, including all the inserts and advertisements. The newspaper is then filtered onto a processing line where any materials other than newspaper are manually sorted. The sorting lines are elevated so that materials taken off the line can be stored in bunkers underneath the line. This product automatically falls into the final bunkers. When these bunkers are filled, they are fed into the baler, which compresses the material and ties it automatically. The back section of this screen makes the final separation of mixed fiber from the rigid containers. The mixed fiber consists of items like cereal boxes, junk mail, and magazines. It is also sent to a sorting line where a final manual sort is performed. After the disc screens have sorted out the paper, the containers are directed to the container sorting line. The first step in this process is to manually remove any remaining paper products from the containers. Next, a magnet removes the steel cans. Then the material is fed into another screen that breaks and removes the glass materials. The glass material is transferred by conveyor to an outside storage area. The remaining materials, consisting primarily of plastic containers and aluminum cans, are then sent across an eddy current separator. The eddy current creates a magnetic field that propels the aluminum cans across a diverter and into a storage bunker for bailing. The remaining plastic containers are then sent to the plastic processing area. The plastic processing area uses a high-tech system that utilizes advanced optical sorting technology to identify the type of plastic from other recyclables. Once the bunkers are filled, the contents are released onto one of the main baler conveyors that feed the baling equipment. This baler compresses the material and uses wire to tie the material into bales. These bales are stored and then loaded onto trailers to be delivered to the end user. The end users of all baled products maintain strict quality limits. The removal of contamination is a very important part of our production. Waste management is committed to providing a wide range of quality services. We form a partnership with the people and businesses within each of our serviced communities to ensure the prompt, safe, and convenient disposal service needed to protect our environment. Curbside Collection and the Material Processing Facility are prime examples of the waste management commitment to quality recycling programs.